The world today has the most fabulous agriculture that it's ever seen. And the most fabulous agriculture of all is right here in the United States. We have the best cropland, the best transportation system to support it, the best agricultural research, the best equipped farmers. It is the most fabulous, most productive farming system in the history of the world. And we must ensure that it continues to get even more fabulous because it's the only way to save the environment. Few people realize it, but agriculture is the key to wildlife conservation. Asia right now has six times as many people per acre of cropland as the Western Hemisphere. It will have eight times as many people. And Asia has the biggest food gap. At this moment, we have three billion Asians averaging about 17 grams of animal protein per capita per day. The Western world is at 65 to 70 grams. And by the year 2030, we will have to provide at least 55 grams of animal protein per day for 4 billion Asians. That's a five-fold increase in high-quality protein for Asia. They probably cannot produce that amount of high-quality protein the feed grains, the oil seeds, the cattle pasture, all of the things needed without clearing much of their current wildlands, without plowing down much of their tropical forest. At this moment, Indonesia is deliberately clearing millions of acres of tropical forest to grow low yield corn and soybeans for chicken feed and to produce poor quality pasture for beef cattle. India is getting a third of the dairy fodder for 400 million cattle, goats, and sheep by literally stripping leaves and branches from their forests. This is environmentally unsustainable. And yet we have millions of acres of good quality, underused cropland in places like the United States, Brazil, Argentina, Zaire, Turkey, even countries like France and Poland have the capacity, will have increasing capacity to export milk and meat and fruits and vegetables and cotton to the people of Asia who need it and who will then be able to enjoy a high standard of living and still keep their wildlife ha habitat, still keep the overwhelming majority of the wildlife species on this planet which are in those tropical forests.